Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, what was the worst act of betrayal that you have ever experienced? Was it from a friend or a family member, a coworker, or maybe even your spouse? And, and along with that, who is it that you have betrayed? Have you betrayed a friend or a coworker, a family member, or your spouse? Maybe you've betrayed yourself. Today's passage is preparation for betrayal. Uh, Matthew 26, verses 14 through 16. Very short. It says, Then one of the twelve, whose name was Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What will you give me if I deliver him, Jesus, over to you? And they paid him 30 pieces of silver. And from that moment, he sought an opportunity to betray Jesus. Now, uh, Judas planned intentionally to betray Jesus. And, and we're not 100% sure why. Maybe he was motivated by greed. I mean, he got 30 pieces of silver. And we know that when uh, the, the woman anointed Jesus with oil that was worth a year's wages, so a thirty-five dollars to $50,000 bottle of perfume, that Judas grumbled about the waste. And, and John actually tells us, that was because Judas was stealing from the money bag. So maybe it was greed. Maybe it was disappointment because he was disappointed that Jesus was rejecting the political power. The crowds wanted to make him king and Jesus refused to do that. And Judas went, well, if this thing isn't going where I want it to go, I'm just out and I'm going to take some money and run. Or maybe it was manipulation. Maybe Judas thought, well, Jesus isn't going to you know, step into the, the place of prominence and power politically. I'll just back him into a corner, and when these you know, uh, priests you know, try to arrest him and do all this stuff, maybe then he'll fight back. Uh, whatever the case was, and, and honestly, we don't know exactly why Judas you know, agreed to betray Jesus. We just know that he did. And, and while it's really easy and tempting to judge Judas completely, can I just remind you that we are all capable of betraying Jesus, of denying Jesus, of abandoning Jesus? It, you know, we're, we've all done it at some level because we're all sinners and, and we all turn our back on our Savior willfully. Sometimes we plan it and, and then hopefully we repent. So what is the point of this? What do we get out of this? I want you to grieve Judas' decision. I mean, it was a decision worth grieving. It is, it is heartbreaking. And uh, in the ways that you've been betrayed or have betrayed, you can identify with that. So grieve his decision, uh, but then personally confess and repent from the things that you've done to betray or deny or abandon or just turn away from Jesus. And then let's pray that our lives imitate Jesus and not the betrayer. So I hope that helps and I hope that encourages. Have a great day.